Alright, here I am with my Noritsu film processor and my handy dandy Amprobe clamp on ammeter from like the 50s, maybe even the 40s. Pretty old. Solid Bakelite construction. Now, a lot of people will say, why do you use that old clunky analog meter? Why don't you get a nice expensive digital meter? And I say to them, well, because you don't have anywhere near the observational ability with a digital meter that you do with an analog meter, for one. See, for example, those LEDs there are sitting next to SSR, solid state relays, on that circuit board, and it's controlling the very various heaters in this unit. And you can see that as the different heaters come on, there's an immediate needle movement, or just about immediate, that, that shows you exactly which of the relays is drawing how much current whenever it comes on you'll see exactly on the on the uh, on, on the needle uh, which one it is um, so try to do that with a digital meter you just have a bunch of numbers moving all over the place because the sampling rate isn't high enough it'll, it'll only give you like one reading a second or something like that you know and look this, this signal is changing every second, so what's what the hell is a digital meter going to give you? It's changing faster than every second in some in some instances. Not only that, this is 50 years old, at least, maybe 60 years old, and it doesn't require batteries. It's completely passive. There's absolutely nothing to replace ever. All you have to do is maybe clean the contacts and the switch once in a while. And so, why the hell would you spend six bucks? Well, six bucks is overpaying, but you get my point. Why would you spend five bucks on a on a nine volt battery that go you go through them every you know the battery is always dead when you need it. You get a digital meter, it never tells you accurately when voltage or rather current swings are happening, and never gives you a clear indication of what exactly caused it as this is doing all for a couple hundred dollars and you got to put batteries in it I, I, I don't get it so anyway that's me with my old analog meter and that's why I use it